Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. Just coming back from a little bit of a supply run, we needed to get quite a bit of corrupted nodules because today we're gonna be somewhat moving base. I wanna start setting up another area. I really, really need to set up an industrial forge. Smelting all this metal is just getting to be quite a pain with the current setup that I have. So, best thing to do is upgrade when you have issues. All right, let's leave him. Kind of want to turn him around a little bit. That spider keeps spawning over here too, man. I want to get away from this area. He keeps aggro and everything. Oh, and I got a new addition to the tribe. So we ended up getting a little dodic, man, and he is weighed down like crazy with stone. And I tell you what, let's throw a little bit of stone out and a couple owl pellets. See if we can't get anything out of the gotcha. There you go, buddy. So I've been putting all his levels into crafting skill so it's up to 121 percent it's supposed to speed up how quick he makes stuff and the quality supposedly that's what they say let's go ahead and drop the nodules in here and i think we have everything we need for the the uh industrial forge we do nice we almost have everything for that we just need more crystal i think all right i need to make some gas i think i have some oil in here somewhere somewhere maybe no? Am I out? I know I have some in the fabricator, but I want to save that for making stuff in there. Alright, so that's cooking up. Let me show you what else I found, man. Dude, so I got this this enforcer blueprint while I was collecting crystal and stuff. And a draw from a level 150. Dude, look at the health on that thing. 115%, 115 on the stamina, and 120% on the damage. The best thing is... The require or the uh, materials, dude. They're super low for the level of it. So I want to save that until we get a tech cloning chamber, and that way we can clone them. And if anything happens, we'll still have be able to make them. Was that a drop that just came down? Sounded like it. So yeah, the beavers, man. I have cleaned them out so much of some mini paste. I don't know if they're gonna make any more houses. So I've been making quite a bit of it myself with stone and then with the spiders to keep killing over here and there's a bunch over there. Get the chitin. Dude's had another crystal? Nice, man. Dude's on a roll today. All right, so there is one industrial forge. I've got quite a bit of stuff over here in the Argentavis already set up and ready. I want to build kind of like a greenhouse, somewhat kind of wall and stuff like that. And I'm not sure how big of foundations. That's all I had that I've made. I'm running really, really low on wood right now. The industrial forge will help with that, being able to use gas instead of having to use the um, wood all the time. And you know what? I totally forgot to make a couple more acts. I need some more crystal. Tell you what, let's go. <laughs> let's go set the foundations out, and we'll go from there. So I was looking over here. I was wanting to build in this area, but I didn't realize these little posts. You can't remove them, so that would kind of be right in the way. So maybe we'll put the base up here along the water. If we'll do it on this side, or maybe this side over here because it's a little bit flatter. Or not flatter, but it's more of a straight edge on the water. It'll help out because I want to do a greenhouse all in one. See, this right here would be pretty nice. Do a flat across the front here. Maybe right here, and that's good access to, to both of the domes. And that's a way out right over there, too. I think we'll do it right here, man. It'll be nice. Let's get rid of this tree. Drop the bird, get some foundations. And it's not exactly straight, but that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. We just need to make sure not to get on the other side of that. So we'll start off with stone, and as we get stuff, we'll go ahead and move it up to, to tech.
All right, so I think I'm, all, I'm gonna do maybe 12 or 15 wide. I want it to be really wide, but not very deep. So what do we have here? We got one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's nine. 10. And we'll do one more down here. Oh, dude, is that a... What's well, a sheep? I didn't know those were over here. Have to not kill it. Maybe we can breed them. In case we need some for taming. Dude, you need to go make some, some mini paste, man. Oh, there's a drop over there. I think this should be big enough. We can always go two stories if we want to, or expand out that way. So what we got right now is a 12 by 9. Kind of an odd size, but it's what we got. I don't want to make any more stuff, so that's going to have to work. And we are overweight. I think the glass... Whoa, put the gun away, man. Calm down. I think the glass walls will look nice, too. Probably go three high, and then we'll do a slope, and then a gl glass across. Maybe one more deep. I think that looks pretty good, man. That's gonna look nice. I need to make some of the uh, corner pieces. So a left and a right. I might need, I think I'm gonna go up just one, and I, that'll be the height that we have there. And then I can bring this this back part up with the regular walls if we need to make it higher for the industrial forge. Let's go ahead and set that out real quick while we're here. Because that will be going right here in this back corner. I'll probably do in the middle a big dino gate. Not a behemoth, but a, a regular dino size. I think on this map what I'm going to do is a lot of my teams I'm going to keep in cryopods. Whenever I'm not using them, instead of having them out all the time. It kind of creates lag and then I just don't like the way it... It clutters everything up when you get closer with their name tags. So this will be in the back corner. Let's see. I want to get it kind of somewhat set right. Take a look. Oh man, it needs to come back a lot. Holy crap, I didn't realize it was that far forward. I do not miss the days where you put something down and that's where it was. <laughs> Used to make it pretty difficult when you were building. That's still alright. Oh man, I tell you what. Me putting stuff down. Dude, it takes so long. What was that? Are you swimming over there? Tell you what, that's gonna have to work. That's close enough. Throw a couple walls around it so that it it doesn't bug me. Nice, and then we'll throw the the gate up. Then we can just fly right in with the RG, unload our stuff like normal. How many walls high is that? Is that gonna be six high? So that's going to come up to four, so I'll have to go two higher to make it re reach over there. And we'll do something different on the back. For right now, it's going to be flat, straight across, or straight down. But I want to build a little something out to kind of match the front. Of course, we'll do that at a later time. I need to make a small storage over here so that I can leave all this stuff. And I want to bring the dodic over. Grab some wood and stuff like that. I'm going to go back, grab the Dodic whenever I get the storage cabinet made, bring him back, and I need to get those couple pieces to make the left and the right the slopes so I can start on my ceiling. Let's go ahead and make these corner pieces up, and I want to make a canteen. I forgot about that. Just need some cementing paste and hide. Got both of those over here. we we'll drop this crystal off real quick. Some mini paste. Oh, actually, I need that for in there. Tell you what, tell you what. Let's do this the proper way. Make two of those, please. Get rid of these heavy 
some water jugs. Leave it in here for making more dye later. Move that over. Let's grab these. And we're going to need this gas anyways. Need to make some more gas. All right, so we need two... Two of each or one of each? I need some more metal. I think just one of each. Grab a little water before we go. I want to take a look. Can we build a vault? Let's build a vault real quick to take with us. That way it'll be a little bit easier. Dude, we are out of some mini paste too. Holy crap. Where's my... Oh, I've already took all the gas out. Boy, I tell you what. Sometimes, man, let's get rid of this stuff. So I have, I brought a dino gateway and a door so we can at least set that up and then a smithy so that we can make stuff over there. All right, let's go ahead and make us this vault. Yeah, we can just make one, almost make two. Just need more polymer. And I think we're at a cementing paste. That's all right, we only need one and we're gonna have tech storage soon. So we'll take you and the rest can stay for now. All right, let's see what we have. Let's go ahead and start getting a little bit more gas made while we're here. Let that cook up. Shouldn't take long at all. Throw the other one over here. Luckily, we do not need a pterodon to do these. I was kind of worried if I was going to be tall enough. So we need what? A couple more of the walls. And then some of the slopes. I don't know how many slopes. I think I did way too many on the slopes. Probably wasted a lot of resources, but that's fine. I can always break them afterwards, you know? Yeah, that's going to look nice. And then we'll throw some of these ceilings on there, too. Up on top here. Nice, man. That's going to look awesome. Especially once we get the tech. Take foundations and all that, get this all replaced. It's going to look nice, though. And then I can put my... I have a couple crop plots up here. A couple there, a couple there, a couple there. And then our workbenches and stuff like that will be here in the middle. All nice and opened up. A little bit different than I usually build. But, alright, I'm going to go ahead and get this finished real quick. That is a lot of glass. Hopefully nobody comes by and smacks it with their tail. I'm just saying. Don't know if it can happen. But I wouldn't doubt it if it did. Should be good here. Oh, nice, man. 81. Dude, that's awesome. All right, so I need to get rid of this one, and I'm going to put... Probably put the vault just right there for now. It's not permanent. Just temporary. It'll also help out whenever we want to empty this thing out. Dude, I can just drop everything from there right into the vault. I don't think this one's got anything in it. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Throw the door up and a couple walls, and we will call it on this one. All right, so we got three. I remember how how many that it is to get this thing level so let's go ahead and just throw walls up so we don't mess it up don't want to have to do it twice 
which I might not actually, I might not make it exact. Uh, I need to do it exactly the same because I want to build something off here later. I don't know. Do I want to center anything I build off of this little walkway? I don't know. Let's just do it like I was gonna. <laughs> so many options, man. Alright, that should be about the same, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Looks good there and there. Let's throw the door in. Hopefully it's going to open the correct direction. Which won't matter. Yeah, that's the way I want it. Won't matter whenever we go and put the tech one. It's going to open up all the same. So I think... That's going to be like the forge and stuff like that. And over here I'm going to put the tech replicator. Maybe in that corner. Need to have all the fridges and all that other stuff. Tell you what, let's go ahead and put the smithy right down in here in the middle. I like it. How many walls we got left? We got a couple. And that is the last wall that I have built. So this thing is a lot taller than I thought it was going to be. This is like five, five high. One, two... Three, four, five. Yeah, five high. So, dude, get your feathers out of my face, man. Come on, give a guy some space. So I don't know if I'm going to build straight up and down on that front. That's something I have to play with later. It's, like I said, it's a little bit taller than I thought it was. But this is going to be an awesome workspace. Might go two stories in here for part of it over on this side. Not too sure. However, going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you liked a little bit of the build. It's the start of a very, very nice workshop. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.